Welcome to my channel. What it is, what it ain't, what it's gonna be. Okay, excuse my time because I've been eating Skittles. But I'm gonna show y'all an easy, easy way on how to do a Valentine's eye makeup look, okay? Thank y'all for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my face off camera since this video is just mainly focusing on the eye makeup look. So my face is doing like, y'all, let me tell y'all, every time I do my makeup, it's, I always get makeup on my shirt. It's so annoying. So we're going to do a red eye look today. And I'm taking this palette right here. I got this from Amazon, y'all. It comes with six different palettes. I want to say I paid maybe like $42 to $45. But these colors are amazing. And they are very pigmented. And you get six freaking palettes. And it's good for beginners just to practice. For anything you want to make sure that you put a primer on your eyelids just because you want the color of the eyeshadow to really show up so i'm taking my p louise and i'm taking my juvia's place and i like to mix them together so taking a flat brush i like to just pat the primer down Now I'm going to just take this brush right here and I'm just blend it all the way out. You want to make sure there is no creases whatsoever. Because if you have creases and you put the eyeshadow on top of the creases, then the eyeshadow is going to crease up. When I first started makeup, I wish somebody would have told me about primer. Some people use concealer, but regardless, you know, um... It really make your eyeshadow pop, especially, you know, being brown skin or dark skin is just hard for, you know, colors to show up. So that's why you want to prime the eyelids first so those colors can show up. So I'm taking this burgundy shade right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat that color on. Okay. We're not swiping because when you pat the color on, then it builds that color up. So what we're doing, we're just going to build that color up. No swiping, no none of that. We're just going to pat. That's all you're doing. That's it, y'all. That's it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you how easy. Like, it's crazy how a lot of people, even when I started makeup, it's like, it looks so hard. But I promise y'all, you're going to be like, Zine, that's it? That's all I had to do? I got y'all. I got y'all. Kind of like to, I got y'all. Hold my eyebrows up. Give me more space to work with. And we're just going to blend that out in circular motions. And you see how it softens the edges. Okay. So we took this red right here. And this is a blending brush. Put that red color right on top. Tap, tap, tap. You want to tap it on first for the coverage. Once you tap it in, then of course you can go in and blend that color out. Again, I like to kind of hold my eyebrows up to give the illusion I have more lid space to work with. Once that red color is on, after you tap it in, you want to go in and do circular motions to blend that red color with that burgundy color. I'm going to make sure that it's looking like a gradient effect. The common mistake that I made and, you know, other people deal with is 
color theory. You're going to have to know color theory when you're dealing with makeup. Point blank, period. No, no way around it. Because when you're dealing with eyeshadow, you need to know what color complement each other, what color goes with each other. Because if not, your eyeshadow can look muddy. So I took cosmetology in high school, so I learned about color theory, of course. But you just it's just something that you're going to have to learn um, because it really plays a big like a huge part when it comes to eyeshadow so we is going to take the burgundy color we had the first color that we laid down and we just going to bring that color back in because of course eyeshadow is about gradient so you want to be able to see each layer of eyeshadow so the trick about eyeshadow is when you lay down or put down the first eyeshadow color and you go to the next eyeshadow color you want to go back to the previous eyeshadow color just so you don't lose that color you know what i'm saying and then you would be able to see each layer of eyeshadow color that you lay down going back with that burgundy shade we're going to blend that and bring that color back I like to do circular motion. Some people like to swipe left and right. It's really your preference, y'all. That's why I like this palette because it shows the different colors that complement each other. Now, you could actually add a third eyeshadow right here by the crease just to bring some dimension in but for the sake of this video we're not gonna do a third eyeshadow but if you do want to try it you could bring some more dimension in your eyeshadow look and then add this darker color right here y'all right here by the crease like a blending brush and then blend where you see the eyeshadow at the top just so it don't be harsh now Take a clean one. This is semi-clean, okay? But, you know, y'all get the point. So, you want to blend. So, it just don't be harsh right there. Okay, 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 okay. Y'all. Oh, my God. Like... When I do my makeup, I cannot find anything, and then I could just have something. Put it down, and it disappears. I'm a glitter slash rhinestones type of girl. So you're going to see in some of my looks, I love to incorporate glitter and rhinestones, because that's just me. Like, that's just me. So I'm going to just, you know, up this... I make up look a little geek and add some glitter, which I was trying to find my green duo glue. Y'all know I live by that glue. But since I can't find it, I'm going to take the blue kind instead. So, put some glue on the back of my hand and just spread it evenly. And don't worry, y'all. It dries clear. Spread it all across evenly. Right there, right there. I like it when you do it right there, right there. As y'all see, it's drying clear. And that's what we want. But this is some glitter I got from Amazon, y'all. So I take some Vaseline on my back of the brush. And just pick up my glitter. Like that, yo. Like that. And just going to tap that glitter on. Tap that glitter on. My hand to make sure it is even. I don't care what nobody say, lashes really makes a look. Because let me tell y'all, like, when y'all, like, doing a makeup look, like, even me, like, I be in between the makeup look, and I be like, mm, I don't like this. And I will wipe it all off, y'all. But 
then when I'm just like, okay, let me trust the process, let me trust the process, and I put them lashes on. Okay, y'all, so this is the final look. I went ahead and added my lashes, my lips, my liner at the bottom, and of course, more glitter. But um, yeah, this is the look. Thank y'all for watching, and see y'all in my next video. Bye.